Hello, welcome to the Freak Show. Bumpy McSquigums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of Season 3 of Battle Brothers. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Episode 22 is upon us. Now, it says impossible here, but if we pause and unpause, and repause and pseudo-pause, I don't know. Um, it's less impossible and more permanently dead. I, I don't know. We're going to give it a shot. Guards, so a little bit tankier. Sclatons, um, many fall in here. This is going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. We'll see. I'm going to man up. I'm going to do it. I'm going to give it a shot. I don't know that it's going to work, but we're, well, as I said, we're going to give it our best here. And we're going to hope things pan out for us. We shall see. The Lost Souls are two of my large concerns right now. I mm, guess we just might as well fire. I mean, maybe we get that lucky 5%, take one out immediately, or hit him. That's okay. I'm just going to keep lobbing them. Oh, snippity snap. What? That right there, morale booster. It makes me pretty happy, guys. That makes me pretty and darn happy because that means that there's a potential play where I don't end up dead. And I'm a pretty big fan of not dying. So, yeah. We're going to roll with that. I think I might move my line down slow. Oh, gosh, they have two-handed weapons. Hmm. Lots of two-handed weapons. Three right now that we see. Hmm. This is a bit off-putting. Hmm. Alright, going to move forward with at least one... Well, I'm going to move forward with more than one of our guys. I mean, that's kind of a given, right? Get through that armor. Ah, we didn't totally get through the armor, but... We did some work there. Mm, I'm going to wait on him. I'm going to move you up to the top and... I got through his helmet and most of his armor. And you also have to say the Kia, guys. It is a thing. Come on! Yeah! Alright, so I'm far less concerned and worried now. Still quite a bit concerned and worried. But not nearly as much as I was just a little while ago. Alright, old Greg is going to get in position down there. I'm going to move... I guess here. I'm going to shield wall it up. And then end our turn. And then we're going to go down here. And we're going through Karate Chop. And there goes the dead guy. I don't think we chopped off his head. So there is... Now he was... Was he a skeleton? I think he was a skeleton. So... Actually none of these guys should be coming back from the dead if I'm not wrong. Which is pretty good. Like, I, I approve of that. I approve of that a lot. Alright, Con the Mad, you're going to actually come down here, buddy, and hold the line. I'm going to move you forward, and you're going to... You moved one spot. We're going to try to debilitate with you, sir. And unfortunately, you missed the 87% because of reasons. And Zero says, ha! I didn't miss. Alright. Now, what does that mean for uh, the world here? We're going to move down to this spot. Not sure that's really a great idea, so we're going to use our shield at this point. Going to move forward. Going to, I guess, just attack. Sure, might as well do some a little chip damage there. Alright, our big play now is to start whittling away at some of the armor of these guys. Now, I don't know that we're necessarily going to do a super amazing job at this, but we're going to give it a shot. And right now, we're not really landing a lot of our shots. Granted, we don't have a high percent chance to hit with our archers right now. Alright, it looks like they're going to be playing defensively as well. I'm very glad this guy moved in here. Uh, I'm not as glad that this guy moved in here, but it could be worse. It could be better. Alright, I was hoping to kill this guy off so one of the others can move into his spot. Hmm. Alright. 75% chance. Land it. Yeah. Got through his armor. Was hoping for a bit more, but that's okay. Alright. Um, I think I can probably do the swing here. And there it is. We got both hit there. So too, too bad. Alright. What's up? Um, we need to focus you down as much as possible and it's looking somewhat grim not horribly so and 
Like, he should be amazing for this, because, you know, the blunt side of things. There we go. Alright. So all the two-handers are down. Now it's going to be the War of Attrition to follow suit here. And I'm not sure where to even start at this point. I guess we'll start on the Fallen Hero up here. I'm going to skip your turn for right now. And we're going to go for the kill. There it is. And again, I'm not sure that was even the play. 50%, 65%. That's a little bit better shot. We're going to go with Shield Wall here. And things are going to get a little bit stickier in just a moment. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to hop down. What do we have? A 71 and an 81. We're going to go to 81, remove his helmet and most of his armor. And hopefully his life. There it is. All right, we're going to go here. 49%, not too, too bad. And the Archerian is real. Hmm. 31%, 20%. Hey, we landed both of those. Go through the armor. Ooh, ooh, okay, okay. The helmet held strong there. Thankfully, most of these are baby weapons. Not all, most. Oh. He slapped me out of the way. I don't know how I feel about that. Not really that bad, honestly. Ooh. It's so sad how much Con the Mad gets wrecked every time. It really is. Alright, what are we looking at here? What's our best chance to hit anyone? The 18 from a distance. Ooh, 33%. I went up pretty high. 28 and 13. Not so great. Alright, well, I think we're going to have to focus down the one that is making Con the Mad a little bit less happy with life. Keep him standing if at all possible. I think splitting this guy's shield might be the play too. So we're going to go for that. Didn't actually do it. Hmm. This is a tad unfortunate. Okay, so he is down now. And 50 and 65. We'll go for the 65. Getting through some of that heavy, heavy armor. 50%. 65%. We missed both. That's okay. That is alright. We're going to go for the debilitation. Hopefully we... Oh, we got, that actually fatigues us a lot. I forgot, guys. It really does increase our fatigue significantly. So, something to be aware of. Uh, we're going to try for a shield split with our other guy, too. I know we're not going to quite get through it in our first attempt, but I think the follow-up's fairly decent. 80%. Oh, big hit there. Alright, we're going to move Con the Mad over a little bit here. And unfortunately, nothing doing on any of these. And it's our play here. Alright, well... We could go for broke here. I think we will. We're going to put him in a somewhat useless position. Oh, that's so bad. I shouldn't have done that. I wasn't expecting to actually get the first hit kill. Oops. First hit kill. Hmm. Alright, I'm actually going to try some more. There we go. Now we have the potential kill afterward. Doing okay here. This guy's probably going to leap to the high ground, I would assume. That would be my play if I were him. Put a shield up, you put a smack down on us, it's okay. Yeah, there we go, see. That was the the ideal move for him. Alright, 15% not great, but we can still land it apparently. Throw that out there, throw it out there as well, no such luck. Can we land this shot? There we go, all of his armor's down, we're now hitting his... Hmm, we're hitting his uh, actual body. Yeah, I guess I dare. I'm like, do I dare? <laughs> yeah, I dare. Ooh, and we even landed it. That wasn't expected. It's 52%. Might as well take the risk. And hey, it paid off. I wasn't really expecting it to, so that's a bonus. Alright. Go for the high ground guy. He is now officially down, and this guy's not looking super good. Oh, a hit to the helmet. That's okay. Hit into the head. Alright. And this should be pretty detrimental to this guy. And it didn't hit. So, not really detrimental in any way, shape, or form. He's now debilitated, missing a finger bone, I guess. We're going to go out a little wide with him. We'll come back in with Engorg the Engorged soon. Going to try to get a better position to hop in there eventually. Not quite yet. Alright, we're totally maxed out with fatigue on him. And we can hit him, but we can't hit him. But we can still move one, so... Alright, they're going to have one more go at it before we do, and I 
doubt they'll have enough oomph to get through us. You know, some minor damage here and there, but I, I just don't see it. We're going to skip the archer's turn because I don't really feel like they're going to be doing much. All right, Fallen Hero, get wrecked. One to go, guys. One to go, and I think we might even have it in the next move or two. I'm going to skip his turn. He's not going to be able to get in range. We're going to throw this one out 60%. The guy is teetering on the edge of death. And we're going to skip his turn. And this should be it. Black Knight says good day, sir. And we did it. We did it actually quite well. No one even got hurt that time around if I, I'm not mistaken. Did Condomat actually take? No, he's still recovering from before. Well done, guys. Well done. Let's take a look at the overall damage. So everyone did something, right? Yeah, everyone pulled their weight, which is nice. Zero kills on Brian Blade. One, two, one, one, zero, one, one, two, two, one, and one. And yeah, old Greg managed to get a level up. And the MVP was Zero the Phantom, actually, just wrecking fools left, right, and center. I thought old Greg might have actually topped him, but no. And SSJ Gazhan of the Gold Hair is actually kind of a boss as well as of the Black Knight. So our two handed weapon users seem to be running away with the overall damage and that is pretty darn cool and this stuff looks really awesome like this just looks cool to, to gather up you know you have the fighting axe which is actually pretty decent but again I don't have an axe user you have the great axe which is nice I'm just gonna check I'm pretty sure there's nobody with a named weapon but just on the off chance that there is and I should be able to tell just by looking I'm still gonna go through and do my due diligence as they say just to make sure just to make sure that I don't just kind of like lose my mind and forget something. And an 809 gold swing to our favor. I will take that. And we shall depart from this place much richer than we went in. It's actually quite nice. I'm not sure how many tools we have left. I know some of our armor got chunked a bit. It wasn't horrible though if I recall correctly. I'm not sure how many tools we have left though. That's kind of the problem. It should give us a fairly decent amount of money, though. Alright, we might as well do the level up on good old Greg. And we'll see what we want to do with him. I think... Actually, I don't know. Like, And eh, we'll do holdout, I guess. I mean, it's not great. He's not fleeing. But again, our goal is to get to the Fortified Mind with a few of our folks. Like, to me, this is... To me, the way I play, this is one of the better builds that you can go. Because then Lost Souls don't really mean that much, because they're not going to wreck me. It's going to be nice. I guess I'll do the reduced armor thing in the future. I mean, we're not getting hit that often with old Greg, but still. Eh, you never know. Alright, 4, 2, and with Finality, 3. Even with the new damage thing being implemented when the uh, Goblin patch comes out, I still think that the Pike users, or the Bill Hookers, as, a, as I like to call them, when they actually have Bill Hooks, I think I might end up throwing them into the same kind of uh, stat gain with the uh, increase with the melee skill, the melee defense, and the fatigue. I realize the direct damage is going to help, but if we don't get somebody who's fat like Zero, we can utilize the perfect focus quite heavily on them, and that's, as you see, very, very, very extremely deadly. So that's going to be the play. Alright, so the goal now was to return to Almor, if I'm not wrong. So I shall click that and send our battle brethren, our brother, 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 bro, ba, ba, see I can't say it, battle brohims, there it is guys, the battle brohims on their way to do murderous things, and it's going to be sweet, sweet, nice style guys. We're going to go to Almor, probably sell a whole bunch of stuff, yeah, our, our tools are ticking down, we're not going to have enough to repair everything, but a decent amount, we could use some more ammo, that's something that we can get 50 units of, we've been running around with Somewhere between, I want to say, 20 and 30. I don't think we got past 30 yet, so that's something we could definitely get a few more of. I mean, more tools, obviously, more provisions. All that stuff is sweet, sweet, nice. Let's see here. Um, we get 50 more provisions. Uh, we don't really need medicinal supplies. I mean, it's not worth getting 10 for. But we can sell some stuff, however. And I am okay with that. We shall sell the Falchion. We shall sell the wooden shield, woven tunic. Pretty much most of this stuff, honestly. I mean, we'll be looking pretty darn good at this point. 
for our overall equipment needs. I am going to save one of these helmets just in case we lose all of them. Shields, eh, I don't really seem worth it. I didn't break two of the shields and I think I repaired them, which was a mistake by the way, guys. I should not have done that. I should nay have done it. Should nay have done it. But these uh, fighting axes, they are definitely worth repairing. And so are the arming swords, if I'm not wrong. Pretty much all these weapons weren't too bad to repair. Okay, so we're rocking 2,500. We're looking pretty darn good at this point. Most of our people are above level 7, I want to say. The one... Yeah, the one... Uh, Exception would be SSJ Gazan, as he is late to the party. But he's caught up pretty nicely. I mean, he's caught up to Khan the Mad and Master of Puppets. It's not too, too bad with the overall. I don't understand why I'm having such clicky issues, guys. I really don't know. Alright, Ortwin Songbird, Raban, Aldemar, Aldemar Quickmind, Remor. I mean, that's some decent looking guys there, but again, meh. Actually, all these are garbage. These would be decent for your first round of, uh, of Scrabble here. It's not a round of Scrabble, but you know what I mean, guys. You know what I mean. No, we have no idea. Why don't you explain it to us? Well, oh, I forgot. I wanted, and I knew I was going to forget this. I wanted to come back over here and check around Ardstad to see if there was that other den of iniquity and evil that I could actually do murderous things to. But that didn't happen. So we're going to go head over to the Foothill Keep. Hopefully it is dawn by the time we get there. While marching down the road, you find a man with a broken cart by the side of the path. By the wagon, there is a donkey standing idle and as defeated as a donkey can look. The trader looks a little better than that, and your appearance seems to have scared him. He rears up, backing away momentarily. Have you come to take my things? If so, you needn't kill me. Take what you want. Man, take everything we can use with the cart. Nah, let us help you get the cart on the road again, man. We got this. Alright, he's happy and he gives us ten provisions. We read this before, guys, so... We're going to skip stuff that we already know has happened. And, oh, wait a minute. Is that a battle for us to take part in? I think it might be. Puny to puny. Yeah, let's do this. Kill some orc young and an orc warrior. My, whoa, my die mountain do taste off right now, guys. I don't know if there's something wrong with it or what the deal is, but, meh. Nah. It's not a, I've had a few that have just been mixed really bad, like something's wrong with it, but this one just tastes slightly off, and I don't know what the deal is with it. Uh, the Dota 2, uh, the International 2015, or TI5, tournament is in full swing, ladies and gentlemen. I am enjoying every, uh, just about every minute of it. You guys saw some coverage that I posted, hopefully, if you guys, I, I know, a lot of you are not fans of Dota 2, and if you are, you probably go to... I wouldn't say more reputable, reputable sources, reputable, there we go, that's the word, reputable sources, but people that are a little bit more famous, I would say, in the uh, Dota 2 scene, but I'm sure a few of you have checked it out, but uh, yeah, I did some coverage of NAR and the wildcard matches, and they didn't do so well. They didn't do so well in round one, and we cover them in round two as well, which I'll be posting somewhat soon, might even be at the same time as I post this video, who knows, who can say? But yeah, yeah, NAR, not so great, or Archon as they're uh, actually known now, because they got sponsored. Which, knowing how um, sponsorships g come and go in the realm of Dota 2, um, let's see, how, how to say it, it's it's kind of it's kind of crappy, because, you know, a team will get sponsored because they're doing pretty decently, they're doing well, and there's that hope that they're going to be the TI uh, whatever winners, right? And then as soon as they don't perform at, you know, as the best team in the world, they get dropped by their sponsors. Like, uh, I know Mouse Sports constantly dropped teams, and then when they found teams that were on a roll that didn't have a sponsor, what did they do? They immediately picked them up, and then they're like, yeah, road to TI5, and then whenever um, that team did not succeed, they got dropped again. Like, they didn't make it into TI5, so they're like, oh, well, you guys aren't a top-tier team, so buy out of the sponsorship. To me, that's that's a little crappy. I'm just saying, if you're going to sponsor a team, sponsor them. Get behind them. They might not have the best year, but who cares? Your name is out there. You're getting, you know, Navi. The name is out there. Archon. name is out there. I mean, you're sponsoring it for more than just a win, you know? I, I don't know. I, I just... It's one of those things that bothers me. I probably shouldn't, but it really does. Sponsors being so flippant or, or finicky or fickle or whatever you want to call it. It's not great, guys. It's not great. And if you're going to sponsor something, you should sponsor it 
all the way through. I mean, sure, things come up, but I mean, businesses or companies that do sponsor things, they have the capital to do so 90% of the time. So I'm just saying. Just saying. Anyhow, moving beyond that, guys, this is Battle Brothers. We're going around. We're murdering fools. We're making things work. We're making things happen. Stuff is going well, guys. I have been swamped with new games. I've been swamped with just everything. This has been an influx of just things. Whether it be real life, whether it be fake life, whether it be LP stuff. I mean, there's just been so many things going on lately that it's hard to get things done sometimes. But I'm, I'm keeping up with it. I'm doing it. I'm having a lot of fun. A lot of games that I'm really enjoying that we're playing now. A lot of games that are on the way. Some new stuff coming. Some old stuff hopefully getting finished up soon. Some reemergence of older series that I have kind of put on the back burner. I mean, there's a lot of things in the works. Uh, season 4 of Battle Brothers is shaping up to be something amazing because there's going to be that whole new faction. Plus a big, just a massive change of everything. And the boys over at Overhype Studios are working on something for me, which is pretty cool. I'm pretty excited, and I'll get to showcase that with Season 4. I'll have to hold on to it till then. I'll be twitching and like... <laughs> and stuff, but it's okay. It's okay. Alright. And I am noticing my mouse is double-clicking way more. I, I bumped into my mouse. I, I, I didn't like karate chop it, but I like I put my hand down like, dang it! And I tapped the mouse, and it kind of just like flopped over to the side a little bit, and then like popped back down. And I didn't like full on hit the mouse, but I only did that once, and ever since then my mouse's clicks have been a little bit not great, and I didn't hit the buttons either, which is the really bizarre part, so I don't know what's going on. Makes me sad though. Oh, come on, a 95% miss? I thought we were over this, guys. I thought we moved beyond this, also that was not the best position. Oh, I think somebody just died. That's probably not great for that person. 42%? Ugh. Come on, you guys are blind this time. There we go. Landing at 95. Like a boss. Should have probably backed up with him, but eh, you know. I'm pretty sure we've got this. 51%. Get wrecked. There it is. Alright, who was that? That was Gareth the Unbloodied. Doing unbloodied work, ladies and gentlemen. I don't think we can fire. Oh, we can! 51% sword says, what? I'm here too, boys. You ain't getting nothing done without me. Gonna take to the high ground here. There are two orcs remaining. The orc warrior seems to be missing. He also seems to realize that there's absolutely no possible conceivable way he's going to win this fight. That being said, he's probably already fleeing for his poor, miserable little green life. I'm just assuming. I could be totally wrong here, but I don't think so. Alright, it looks like uh, the Merc Canaries are on their way to do murderous things. Pretty sure they'll succeed at doing murderous things, but eh, there's no telling. I mean, we could be totally wrong. Alright. Brian Blade, uh, Mr. Captain Bangs himself. We have to throw the Mr. in there with the Captain. Ah! The Orc Warrior is like, hey, you know what? I have really, really high morale for absolutely no reason all of a sudden, and surprise! I'm back! That's not great. It's okay, though. All right, we're going to move forward. We're not going to be able to shoot any arrows because of reasons we're going to skip the turn. And he is officially dead skis. That's okay. We're going to come over here. We'll skip your turn. I guess you need to start moving. Get into a position to start loosing some arrows upon the enemy. And his soul. All right, we're going to go to the high ground there. We're going to kind of bunny hop our way to victory, I suppose. And the high ground is ours. Oh, that poor guy. Totally didn't make it. Con the Mad's like, aha! Oh god, there's a human person. There's a sur a surgeant, or a sergeant, as it were, in the bushes. That is creepy. That is a little bit creepy. Oh, well, I... Hmm. Okay. Aha! Hmm. Aha! I say, aha, alright, we're going to continue on, guys. We're going to get this here eventually. I don't think the Orc Warrior has a lot of chances of survival right now. Which makes me a little bit happy, but at the same time, a little bit scared, because he could actually go after one of our guys. He's just... Huh, that wasn't the play. That was most assuredly not the play. I don't know what he was doing there, but that was not what he should have been doing. That just put him in a god-awful position. Okay, well, 
Captain No Shield here is going to do something, but instead of that happening, perfect focus on old Greg. He is ready to throw out a, at least three, maybe four attacks. There they are. Pretty much burned through his entire armor supply, and now we're going to go with some aimed shots amidst all these people. Landing it like a boss. We're going to come up here. Maybe over one more. And unfortunately, it doesn't look like we can actually get to him. Now this might seem like dirty pool. Oh, it's not gonna let me do it. <laughs> I was totally willing to chop through um, the veteran in there to actually hit the guy. That makes me sad. It wouldn't let me do that. Well, we're maybe not gonna even get this kill. That kind of makes me sad. Oh, but wait, Striker the Strong has the kill. There it is, folks. There it is. Not a tremendously huge amount of experience across the board, but a decent amount. I mean, Striker the Strong actually leveled up off of it. Uh, Garath the Unblooded got over 100. And so did Sjord, the Warrior of Terra. I mean, not too bad. Not too bad. All right, we'll loot this. Let's see. Um, there was no Warlord, so the chances of there being something that I'll actually need or want is pretty low. We didn't suffer anything for it. If I'm not wrong, and we were on our way to the foothill keep anyway to see if we couldn't buy and or sell some new stuff. It looks like there are more scouts waiting for us. So what we'll do right now is level up a striker the strong. We're gonna do some I think some shield stuff. I think we're gonna do shield stuff with them. I think that's gonna be the play. Additionally, we're going to level them up as we have been. And again, his health is pretty good at 87. I'm not hating that. And the maximum fatigue will continue on. Now, hmm. We'll repair, and I guess we could just go into the fight if we wanted to. Or we could go and... I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure out what we're going to do in the next episode. Either way, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. Hopefully you had fun. If you did, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share it. I still haven't locked down a specific date for Season 4 yet. The announcement video or anything of that nature, sign-up video. Uh, none of that is actually done yet. So when I do get a an official date set, I will let you guys know. Look for it to be a little bit closer to the end of the series because that's how I'm going to kind of judge when I'm going to start up Season 4. And hopefully, again, I, I am trying to get a tentative answer that... You know, even if they give me a range between, say they said something like the first week of August till maybe the third week of August. Well, I would set the date up after the third week of August. Something like that, right? So then, say they got done with the first week, sure, there'd be a two-week delay. It doesn't matter that much, guys. It doesn't matter that much, but yeah. You'll still get Battle Brothers, you'll still get Season 4, and we'll still get to see the Goblin updates and all that wonderful fun stuff. So... There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. There you have it. I don't have an official date yet, but soon, soon I will. Either way, until the very next episode of Battle Brothers, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later. <laughs>